Hello everyone, welcome back to the video. Today I'm going to continue with the tethered drone project because some parts have arrived, or some at least some pieces which I was waiting for. Um, I haven't done too much on the series, but let's get back into it. So the purpose of it, um, just to recap, is to take one of my larger aerial photography rigs and enable it to fly using many, many batteries. But obviously there's a trade-off between how many batteries you can use and how much weight uh, the copter can then carry and thus you have to reach a sweet spot where you're not carrying too much weight because you can add batteries indefinitely, eventually it just won't fly because it's too heavy. So the purpose here, or the point, is to try and use um, batteries on the ground and then send the power up to the copter through cables. Now, I was partly successful previously, but I've only got about four meters because the cable is so heavy and the cable has to be quite thick in order to carry the currents of about between 30 and 50 amps, which uh, the copter needs to fly. So, I ordered some special cable from the UK. Um, this is cable that they use in boats and in um, cars it's thin walled cable and it's 20 gauge. So 20 gauge could be about 25 amps, but I'm not sure about the distances. So that's what we're gonna to test today. So let's get to that. I've, I've cut off some lengths of, of this cable, about, I don't know, 15, 20 meters approximately. And we're gonna put it through on the rig, which draws 50 amps, and then we will see how much loss there is between uh, the one end and the other end of the cable. All right, some technical difficulties later. That's good. So, as I was saying, we've got a receiver. We've got a remote. Here we have a lot of cable. I won't show it all, but it's a lot. It's 20 meters of it. Now, one thing to consider with this cable is that it is, it is uh, brittle. It's not nice silicon. All right, so. Here we go, we go what? There we see a voltage. 15 point. Alright, so here we see 15.75 volts. And on this end, I'll plug in the other cell meter. Alright, there we go. And the battery, of course. And that's 15.87 volts. Now let me just double check that with the proper voltmeter to check that I don't have just a very a bad voltmeter because that one from Hobby King isn't very good. Alright, so we have 15.81 volts at the battery side, 15.75 at the Hobby King at the meter side. However, we're just interested in the relative um, value. Even if the values aren't perfect, it doesn't really matter. We just want to see how much voltage drop will be across these two, across this length of wire. Okay, so 15.86, 15.75. So I'm gonna flip the throttle. As you can see, as you can see, we have a massive voltage drop across the cable, even this cable here, but I think it's just too much. I think it's just too long. I'll have to cut it in half and double it up. So we have essentially a 40 gauge wire um, and less distance, of course. We'll try with that and then I'll check back in. Okay, so welcome back to the Tether Drone Project. What we have is the drone in question. 
which is the TVS Discovery Pro. And in the last little clip you saw that the cable, which is 20 gauge, yeah. 20 gauge, 25 amp rated, is, has still got a very large voltage drop across it when used and it gets warm. So what I've done is I've doubled it up like this. Here we go. Here we go. And what we're going to do now is connect this to the this cable to the bottom of the drone um, with the battery strap, and then I'm going to connect the other end to the battery. This will simulate the drone having to lift up all this cable as it would do if it was flying, if it were flying um, while tethered. I'm going to put the battery gauge on one end on the battery side. I'm going to use the OSD on the other side and record that and then we can see what the drop is and if it flies. So let's get to that. What? 15.23 volts. Now we connect this end up here. Okay, and we're on. So, let's arm it, see what happens. It works! I didn't record it on the OST. Let's do that. All right. In the goggles we're looking, it says 15 volts. On the battery gauge it says 15.11. So it's pretty accurate. All right, let's go. Ooh. 
rough landing. So 14.45 on the battery side. And goes to it one more time just to make sure it is recording. So we've got 14, 15 volts on the battery side and 14.9 on the goggles while not flying. Goodness. My flying is better than that, what you see. <laughs> it's just that the cable's very unwieldy and swing, swings from side to side underneath the drone. And that's why it looks so dodgy, and especially the ground effect. I'm too low. But I just want to see how much the voltage difference is from the top to the bottom while it's in flight. So let's go and check that out.